the grandmother of a three-year-old, is speaking out tonight after a daycare worker on Long Island was allegedly caught on camera abusing her grandson. Jennifer McLogan covers the island and tells us that the daycare center where the family says this all happened recently failed an inspection. The school was very cooperative. They pulled the tapes. Video tapes which showed Debbie Lesh's three-year-old grandson being abused, she said, inside his East Patchogue daycare, way to grow, when he and a toddler classmate both wanted to play with the same toy. Three-year-old, you know, I want to play with that, I want to play with that, and the teacher was across the room on a chair with her feet up on her phone. She put the phone down, proceeded to walk over, picked the two ch children up, dragged them, and then flung them twice. And then Lesh says the teacher used her fingernails to snap her grandson's ears over and over. Proceeded to like pluck. Loesch, who runs a nonprofit that assists families in crisis, first notified authorities when her grandson's loving behavior changed and she says suddenly seemed fearful of school. She didn't expect to see disturbing acts of a worker becoming violent caught on tape and was told additional video involved two other alleged child victims. We didn't get to see the other uh, tapes uh, because of confidentiality. A spokesman for Way to Grow says they immediately terminated the employee as well as two staff members who witnessed the conduct. And as a provider of quality daycare in the community are cooperating fully with the investigation. With their demeanor in watching the video, it seemed as this was an everyday occurrence. Following the alleged October 17th incident and after more than a week-long investigation, the 33-year-old daycare worker was arrested and will be arraigned at the end of this month. I feel like justice will be served if she can no longer work with children. Children and Family Services reports Way to Grow failed inspection last week due to disciplinary tactics and last year for lacking proper staffing. Way to Grow says those were isolated incidents that it's had a quality reputation for 23 years. From East Patchogue, Jennifer McLogan, CBS News, New York. The daycare worker has been charged with three counts of endangering the welfare of a child. Way to Grow is operated by the Economic Opportunity Council of Suffolk.